In this video I'll be showing you how to use a 4 digit 7 segment display and how to make it work using an Arduino and multiplexer. Here I have the 4 digit 7 segment display that we are using today. At first I tried to figure out how this thing works, how the pins are working and stuff. So I came up with this uh, schema that I'm going to show you right now. So after a series of tests, this is the schema I came up with. These are the segments of the display and these 4 right here are the selectors. This type of display works using multiplexing which means if we want to only show the right one we have to put this to high and set the other three to zero. Keep in mind that this is not like the other, this is the exact opposite of the uh, other project because uh, this one is a common anode, not a common cathode, which means the selector needs to be set to high in order to, for, the, uh, for the display to work. Okay, here's what I mean using is this. So, if everyone, uh, if every selector of these ones is set to zero, nothing is going to show up here. But, if I set this one to 1, then the corresponding display uh, is going to show up. And I need to put these segments uh, to 0 in order for them to show up. So, if I put all of them to 0, it's going to show up 8, which means every segment is lighting up. So, as I said, it's the exact opposite of the previous project. Then if we want to show another display, do we just have to set uh, this one to 0 and the next one to 1. So, like this. And we are going to use a, uh, the, and you are going to use a multiplexing, which means each one uh, like turns on and off so fast that uh, it looks like it's uh, showing up at the same time. Okay, here's the code that we are going to work with. The code is just like the last time. These are the segments of the displays. These are uh, the four anodes. So it's basically the same. This is the function. Uh, just like the last time but uh, these are set to high these are initialized to high and then they turn to low the last time we did uh, is because it's a cathode it's a common cathode we set them to low and then we turn them to high to, as the corresponding digit in the main loop we are going to map our value from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 9999 to have uh, 4 digits to have four, four digits to work with. So, these are just a few lines of code to get uh, the th thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. So, after we got that, we set the first anode to high and the others to low, so we display the first digit and then we display the ones. After a delay time, uh, which is uh, I think five, five mil I set it to, to five milliseconds. We are going to display the second one, so we put the anode one to low because it was set to high and then we display the second digit, display the tens, then a delay, we turn off the second anode and so on. Finally I uploaded the code to the Arduino and here's your result. So we have a potentiometer right here and we can change the value from zero to nine thousand and that's it so thank you for watching see you in the next video